Buckle up, y'all, because NX has got brand new built-in support for Verdashio. Now, if you're not familiar with Verdashio, what Verdashio does is set up a local instance of an NPM registry on your local machine. And it circumvents everything so that whenever you run a publish command, it's actually going to publish to that local registry. And then also whenever you install via NPM install or PMPM install or any similar commands, Verdashio is going to circumvent that as well. So when you install, you're pointing to your local registry. This completes the loop so you can publish and pull down from your local registry in order to fully test your packages before they actually go out to a centrally held registry. In this video, we're going to see that whole process come full circle, starting with setting up Verdashio inside of our workspace. Let's get to it. All right, so here's the workspace that we're going to publish our packages from. This is actually a package-based NX workspace set up with PMPM workspaces to tie everything together. And see inside of our packages directory here, we have an is even package. That's going to export a function that tells us if a number is even, and then an is odd function that's gonna do the same thing. Now, if we look inside of the package JSON for is even here, we'll see that inside of the dependencies, we're actually depending on the is odd package from inside the workspace here. And if we take a look at the NX graph for this project, we can see that is even depends on is odd here. So that's how this whole workspace is set up. Let's start by adding the NX JavaScript plugin into this workspace. To do that, I'm going to cancel out of the graph. And here we're going to run pmpm add. I'm going to use the dash D and dash W flags here. That's to say this is a dev dependency and the W is saying to install it at the root of our workspace. And we'll say at NX nx slash js sweet and once that's done installing i'm going to run the command nxg setup for dashio and that command set up for dashio for us we want to take a look at the git history we'll see there's our dependencies that we added the javascript plugin up there and the verdashio dependency down here and we also set up everything that verdashio is going to need to get started but we don't really care about the config too much what i really want to show you is how easy now it is to set up this local registry so let's open up a terminal again and here we're going to run the command nx local registry so here we can see that Verdashio did everything it needs to do to set up our local registry. And as long as this command is running in this terminal, whenever we install packages, it will be from this local registry. And whenever we publish packages, we'll publish them to this registry. And whenever we want to turn this off, it's as simple as canceling the process. As soon as it's canceled, if I try to install or publish again, it's going to point to whatever my default registry was set to. On this machine, it's pointed to NPM. So let me go again and restart that local registry. And now we're going to get our packages ready for publishing. So for my first step, I'm going to jump into the nxjson file. Here under the target defaults, I'm going to set up a new target default and we're gonna call this one publish package. And we're going to make sure that this depends on the build and the test of the package that we're going to publish. This way we'll run a build and a test before we publish a package to make sure that things build correctly and our tests are passing before we actually push it to our registry. So now that we have the default set up for this publish packages, we're going to add this as a task for each of our packages. So I'm going to come into our package JSON here for is even first. And here we'll add a new script, call it publish package. And here we'll use the command pmpm publish. And just for this video, I'm going to use the no git checks flag here. But cool, once that's in place, I'm going to take the same script and we're going to drop this into is odd as well. With those two targets in place, we can open up our terminal again. I'm gonna create a new shell here so that we can keep our local registry running in the other shell. And here in our new shell, we'll run nx run many. And we'll say dash dash targets equals publics package. As soon as I hit enter on this, NX is going to use this task pipeline to make sure that we run all the builds and tests like we mentioned before then publishing the packages in question. And there we go, our packages are now published to the registry. So from here, I'm actually going to go to a brand new workspace. Now this is very minimally set up. There's actually no NX in this one. If we take a look at the dependencies inside of our package JSON, we can see that it has a dependency on the is even package that we just published. Notice that the version here, 1.1.0, is going to match the version of is even that we published here set inside of our package JSON. So with this set, we can now open up a terminal and run the command npmi. That's going to install our packages for us. We can see if we look inside of our node modules, we get both is even and is odd because when we look inside of the package JSON for is even, we can see that this had a listed dependency on is odd to the version of is odd that we just published. So our npm install command was able to find all of those packages that we published locally to Verdashio. But let's close out our node modules and we'll take a look at using this. Here we can see we're writing some common JS to import that is even function and making sure that it works. 
So just to show that all this is working, let's open up the terminal and we'll run node with the index.js file. There we go. So this way I was able to mock publishing our is even and is odd packages to a local registry with no side effects to any central registry. This gives me the perfect opportunity to dry run these changes fully end to end. And it's also great tooling for if I wanted to create some automated end to end tests for publishing a package as well. So that's NX's new Verdashio support. I'm actually super excited for what this means for people using NX to publish packages. To me, Verdashio by itself actually goes 90% of the way to making this sort of local registry strategy viable. But this last 10% that NX provides via that JavaScript plugin and the Verdashio executor really makes a local registry strategy absolutely seamless to use. I'm so excited to see y'all get your hands on it. Let us know your thoughts in the comments and give us a shout out if you're using it in your package. Keep working hard as usual, y'all. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.